I'm Ryan Ashley Well, This is Season 3, Episode 4 of The Raw Quiz Show. Tonight, I am joined by Jack Cornwall. Yo. Omar Marani. It's me. <laughs> and substituting for Melissa DK is Byron Lafayette. <laughs> I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> You haven't, you haven't known what was going on since this season started. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't known what's going on since episode two of season one. What's actually hilarious is I didn't even know who I was substituting for. I was waiting for Melissa to come in into the, uh, into the game. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, we have 20 questions as per usual. Tonight, we are starting with question one, a random category question. We are playing Indian poker. Now, if you've watched this season up to this point, you know the rules. There's two rounds of betting. Maximum of 30 points are up with grabs per bet. I will log the bets off the side so that our combatants know what's at stake here. We will go in scoreboard order. So, Jack, would you like to make a bet? Sure. I'll bet 15. 15. 15. Omar, would you like to stay in with 15 or would you like to raise? Shoot, I didn't even know my mic was going to get it. Um, I would <laughs> like to raise to 30. Okay, Max. Thank you. So Byron, uh, you can you can match Omar at thirty to stay in. You can fold. <laughs> Those are your options. Yeah, <laughs> which would leave you, which would leave Melissa with twenty five points when you lose this. And game. and look, Byron, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what you do. All that matters is you're just maybe you're just here to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> if I fold, though, I get to keep my points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll fold. Okay, good fold. I'll call. Okay. Jack, you're folding? No, I'm going to call. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Byron, you happen to know their cards, right? I mean, you got... Um, let's see. I know Omar's card. <laughs> That's true. That'll be, that'll be a fun way to do it. Jack, uh, tell Omar... Omar's not going to like... He's not going to like what it is. <laughs> tell Omar what his card is. Omar, your card, it's a spade, but I can count it on one hand because it's only a five. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, All right. So Jack, your, your, card, your card is a seven of diamonds. Yeah. No, are you serious? I won this with a seven? <laughs> Our <laughs> cards were five, six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jack's tremendous lead jumps <laughs> 55. Gosh, and uh, Omar's down to 75. Uh, Melissa slash Byron stays at 55. So that's how the math shakes out with Indian poker. Now, on to more traditional questions. Our next question is a culture question for 10 normal points. What is the longest-running American TV series? Omar. Omar. Grey's Anatomy. Nope. No. Jack, Jack. Are we talking about the... like like per, like shows that have ever existed or, uh, yeah. or currently on? Uh, I oh. think it's currently on and ever existed, so I don't think it matters much with this one. Okay. Um, I, I will answer then. Uh, Jack, uh, it's too late. I already got it. Oh, yeah. got it. <laughs> it's The Simpsons. You just have to call out when you think you know it by yeah. yeah. quote Anakin. It's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just say your name. Just say your name when you we have to. We do not answer. grant you the rank of master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to disable Jack from just getting 40 points out of the first two questions. So. <laughs> yeah. 
it's it's probably a good idea. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Byron, just to be clear, you can call out your name when you have the answer, and and that's like buzzing in, basically. So, all right, our Excellent. next question is in the history category for ten sword points. What nation has the highest population density? It makes Byron. sense. Oh, Byron. Byron, what do you got? Um, could you uh, repeat the question? Because you cut out right in the beginning. <laughs> oh, what nation has the highest population density? Uh, I'm going to say uh, yes. India. Nope, you're stalling anyway. What do you got, oh. Omar? <laughs> so, Mar Monaco is correct. Ten sword points. Who do you want to hit? Get Byron out of here, dude. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Man, <laughs> Melissa's going to watch this and be so mad. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Jack effectively has 185 points. <laughs> and of course, like, nope. Byron. <laughs> <laughs> our next, <laughs> what is this? Our fourth question is a culture question for 10 normal points. Who is the only director to have more than one film in the top 10 highest grossing films of all time adjusted for inflation? Byron. Byron. James Cameron. That is correct. You happen wow. to know which movies? Uh, I want to say uh, Titanic and Avatar. That is correct. It, it wasn't. That would have been my guess once I knew the director. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, those are the those are the two that jump out at you. <laughs> All right, that was good for ten for ten normal points. So you you're making up some losses here. <laughs> <laughs> You may be able to make up ground here too, but uh, of course Jack is now in the fight again. So uh, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't really have much fighting I have to do. I could just kind of around. You could check the out for the whole episode, and they wouldn't even scratch you. <laughs> All right, our next question is a science question for ten normal points. Oh God! What is the fastest animal alive today? Omar. Omar. It is a... Dude, I don't oh, know how to do a, the first It part. says peregrine. That's yeah. what it says. <laughs> it is a peregrine falcon, so I'll take it. Yeah. I never knew how to pronounce it. I feel like it just took me forever to say, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's no. okay. No, there, there are plenty of times... I knew exactly what he was looking at. <laughs> he got it. There are plenty of times where I, I get a question and I write down the answer and I'm like, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Let's see how they do. <laughs> <laughs> Our next question is a random category question for 10 normal points. It is a scavenger hunt. You'll get points Sorry. in turn for this stuff you churn. You'll get points. Well, what? Say it one more time. You'll get points in turn for this stuff you'll churn. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I bet Omar's got it fast. He's right there near the cereal, so. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that, what is that? Just so we're clear. That's butter. That is butter. Good, good, good. <laughs> Omar's got so much shorter area to cover. Yeah, <laughs> I have to go all the way across the table. In, in my defense, I didn't know he would be eating Wegmans brand crunch berries. You didn't freeze what's happening. Going on. <laughs> so, oh. Omar, that's 10 points. And uh, with your back to back Thank success, you. I'm just going to disable you. Enjoy your crunch berries for this next question. <laughs> He's, He's like, muted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, our next question is a history question for 10 sword points. Though it is green as a dollar bill now, what color was the Statue of Liberty when it was constructed? Jack. Byron. Nope. Jack, what do you got? Copper. Copper is correct. <laughs> <laughs> 
10 sword points, you only have one valid. I know. I can't <laughs> get Omar back down. <laughs> so that's that. All right. Shockingly fast, we're back to another random category question. One that Jack hates with a burning passion. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't do the common thread. <laughs> what is the common thread? 1917, No Country for Old Men and Sicario. Byron, what do you have? Uh, it is uh, Roger Deakins. That is correct. It is Roger Deakins. <laughs> and who's Roger Deakins? Oh, uh, no. He was the um, the cinematographer. For oh, okay. Time. Man, I just, I just had that pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> Omar's like, I'm looking at it on my screen. I just couldn't read. <laughs> I admit when I wrote this one, I literally thought, Gosh, this is evil. <laughs> yeah, that was a, this that was is why. One. This <laughs> is why I don't like the common thread. <laughs> Man, that one time I got pretty lucky. Whew. That was honestly impressive how fast you were just like, oh, Matt Damon. You were like, oh, Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> is, is every Muslim person loves Ben Affleck? <laughs> by default, love Matt Damon. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> no, I think Omar had like a Will Ferrell experience from old school. Like where he did the whole debate, Omar was just like, Matt Damon, what, what just happened? <laughs> I, I, I again thought Thor Ragnarok would throw people off because it's such a small role in that movie. <laughs> yeah, but he's, it's a memorable part for him. Yes. <laughs> All right, can, you next... a break, can you miss it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the first time I saw it, I was just like, is that fucking Matt Damon? <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I said. I'm like, you could hear him talking, and I'm like, that's, that's Matt Damon. <laughs> My next what question is a science question. <laughs> no Matt Damon involved for 10 normal points. How much does the heart of a blue whale weigh? Omar. Omar, what you got? 400 pounds. That is correct. It is. If, if it were hollowed out, a full-grown adult male human could stand in the whale. It's hard. Wow. Great. <laughs> That's not relevant <laughs> in any way and probably the most educational thing you've ever heard on this show. Yeah, well, I'm going to go put this butter back. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost thinking the same thing. <laughs> Go ahead. Take your butter break. <laughs> Our butter break is over. We're going to move on. <laughs> We're going to move on to our only viewer question this evening. This one from Shelby for 10 bow points. God, is it anime? Jesus. It is. It is. What character has the saying Rolling Thunder? I was going to make an inappropriate joke, but uh... Was it a poop joke? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Jack. Jack. Nishinoya? Yes, that is correct. For ten bow points, I assume <laughs> I know where Byron. this is going. <laughs> <Byron>. <laughs> I didn't even have to ask. Sorry, to be Sorry Melissa. Love you a whole <laughs> lot, but but you're not here. So, <laughs> asking who you're hitting with that kind of a point is just a formality, really. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right. With ten questions out of the way, Byron, I want to give you the floor. What are you doing online? Oh uh, well. Right now, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right now, we're doing the raw push -up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, um, online, I've been doing a lot of writing lately, so just been uh, been trying to uh, boost my uh, my website, viralhair.com. Uh, <laughs> Go to it for all your viral news. <laughs> This has uh, got to be the most distracting plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like this, this is an ad for Cheez-Its. 
Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, quick, quick plug. I made my own munchies mix using a flaming hot Cheetos, toasted Cheez Its, spicy, spicy nacho Doritos, and pretzels. That is an impressive trail mix. I, th- I think you have you have that mix of too many different competing brands for that to work out in a bag. <laughs> it's like a fifteen dollar trail mix. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, he got he got all of that. He could have bought four hundred boxes of Wegman's Crunch Berries. <laughs> <laughs> that trail you know mix is for the one percent. <laughs> A one percent trail mix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one one percent cost. Ninety nine percent of your daily allotted calories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just it's saying. Like you just it's in one handful. Level. In one handful, you had your sodium intake for the month. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute <laughs> brute. <brutally. laughs> You're gonna be oh doing my God, laps for weeks. Bro. But, uh, <laughs> trail mix aside, <laughs> I'm going to leave uh, links in the show notes and, of course, in the credits for Viral Hair. Uh, it's it's an interesting site. Byron's got a lot of stuff up there. It's pretty diverse content. But it's worth a read. So uh, it'll be there again in the credits and in the description for the video. So. And if anyone's interested, you still won't figure out what he looks like on there either. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I, that's I, a, I actually oh, go ahead. That's a mystery that we've been trying to solve for a long time. <laughs> I, I even did an interview the other day with a uh, a comic book author, and it was on the Zoom call. And afterwards, I went into like Premiere Pro, and I like blurred out the whole side of the Zoom call where I was. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing pretty good. His Google search just look like Rachel's right now. <laughs> <laughs> But instead of like Burger King chicken nuggets. <laughs> How late is Burger King open? <laughs> He's not answering questions. It's an Amazon cart with flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> Toasted cheese sticks. Being delivered tomorrow. <laughs> That's true. Okay, our next question. Yeah. <laughs> Our next question is a history question for 10 sword points. What city was founded in 331 BC in Egypt and who founded it? God, I can't type. Omar. Omar. Alexandria was founded by Alexander the Great. That is correct. Ah. For 10 sword points, you can either hit uh, David <laughs> What did you say? Byron. Byron. <laughs> Figure. Byron. <laughs> Fear does not live in this dojo. What? Oh, dude, I'm just waiting. If it lasts for next week, Melissa's going to come on here and like go ape shit on all of us. I'm going to need this time. Watch, watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to survive, but she's going to come on and there'll be like five points. <laughs> I will have my revenge. Not right now, though. Yeah. Right now, I will have the next question for 10 shield points, a science question. What is the atomic number of arsenic? Can't. Omar. Omar. 33. 33 Jeez. is correct. Like, Omar's so. typing faster than me. That's, there's got to be something <laughs> wrong with this. <laughs> It's performance enhancing drugs. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> I got to say, uh, being able to purchase weed legally is so weird. And it's so weird that it's legal in our nation's capital, but not in the entire country. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> it? It really is. It's one of those things where I'm like, hey, I feel like if it's legal here... It should just be legal everywhere. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Oxy's a different thing. Yeah, you know, that's not really legal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next question is likewise a science question, but uh, a specific kind of science question. It is the moon question for this week. Yes. 
for 10 bow points. How many Amazon rivers does it take to reach the moon? Jack, what do you have? 60. 60 is correct. For 10 bow points, I know where these are going. Is it bow points? It is. <laughs> Sorry, Melissa. I add the sound really. effects in post. You don't have to do it, Jack. I know, but it's because it's because there is no fear in this dojo. <laughs> I, have to, uh, I, have to, I have to play this here since I just lost points. Let's see. How can you do this? Outrageous. <laughs> it's unfair. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> it's unfair. All right. We give you a seat on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. Byron, we grant you a seat on this show, but we do not give you the rank of cast regular. So, <laughs> <laughs> our, our next question is outrageous and unfair. It is a random category question. Again, something Jack hates, which means I love it. It is... Oh, Pictionary oh. cheese. Pictionary. Ah. <laughs> if you know what the game is drawn. It's the Red Sea. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Oh, my God. This is a <laughs> oh like the, so It's a peanut. Jack. It's a peanut. <laughs> what, wait, what are you drawing? <laughs> Hippopotamus. <laughs> this is so bad. It's a papaya. A <laughs> like, why do you make them so small? You have the whole... A Game Boy controller. Game Boy. That's a Super Nintendo Game controller. Game Omar. Omar, what'd you say? It is a game controller. It, it definitely is. Jack, Super, Super Nintendo, Nintendo controller. controller. <laughs> that, that is true. PlayStation looking, controller? I'm looking for a little less than that specific thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Sega controller? What else could I do? Is it a Sega Genesis controller? No, no, no. no, no that's no. a Nintendo controller. It, it is. It is. Um, it's a SNES controller. That, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm looking for less. I'm not really looking for this so much as <laughs> the other part. What other part? Well, the the thing itself. Super Nintendo. Yes, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd That's you start right. with the controller? <laughs> <laughs> because y'all immediately knew what it was. Yeah, but if, we you, drew the the, if you just controller. drew the box with like a little game, we'd be guessing like every game console instead of <laughs> trying to say not but, Super Nintendo controller. But y'all <laughs> settled on Super Nintendo way faster this way. <laughs> hey, you know, know your audience. Check it. Classically trained. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? That's perfect. <laughs> if, if I wanted, to, if y'all were having trouble identifying. What I would have done is done the A, B, X, Y with the A on the right and the X on the top. It's opposite the shape, the shape gave it away. I, I need to find a way to do just categories and see how that goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just never hang man. Never hang man oh, again. Never. Ever. Never hang man again. <laughs> that was oh, the dude. worst. We did it in the first season of Mart. It was like the most painful 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> It was so bad. I, I refuse. All right, our next question is a history question for 10 normal points. What was nail polish used to signify in ancient Egypt? Jack. Jack. Uh, class rankings? Yes, classes. Class would have been a good one-word answer, but that's enough. My goodness, I'm disabling you, Jack. I, I know. Byron? <laughs> Byron Jackson, I got it. Oh, I thought he was being disabled. I was creating my own rules again. Yeah. <laughs> he, I mean. he, is be, he is being disabled for this next question, for sure. I'm disabled. Wait, did I just get shield points? No, we got them no, earlier. Those were normal. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, Jack effectively has 205 <laughs> points to get rid of. So <laughs> this is uh, hideously unbalanced. Y'all got to do something about it. So to that end, our next question is for 10 vote points. It is a 
Better hope Omar doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a culture question. What is the highest possible score in Scrabble and for what word? Omar. Omar. Um, I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> Spell it. Oh, God. Right. Is it in so. a sentence? <laughs> you said it in a sentence. <laughs> 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 Uh, Y'all just gave me a fantastic. Wait, is it just Bozite at two seventy five? Nope. Sorry, no. I, I, I'm so sorry. No, it's eight fifty. That's not right, anyway. So. No. Yeah, I, I have it, but let's see if Byron can get it and keep Melissa from dying. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great laugh. <laughs> Byron, do you have it? Uh, yes, I do. What What is um, it? It is uh, 365 points. Nope. And nope. Nope. <laughs> I, I wasn't it. confident, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have it. What is it, Jack? 1,458 points. Yep. And it's oxyphenobutoso? Yeah, now you have know. to use it in a sentence, though, so... Um, on the Raw Quiz Show, I had to answer a question, and the answer was <laughs> Oxyphena Butoso. <laughs> uh, for some reason, my dark sense of humor thought this was going to go in an overdose direction. <laughs> well, uh, who are you hitting with these points? I think I know. It's... Oh, they're not my points. I didn't. I was disabled. I just had it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That is true. Uh, we want, like I said, as much as I'd love to kill Byron, I, I kind of want to have Melissa come back with like 15 points and be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> to that end, we, we have a history question for 10 sword points. How long have dogs been domesticated? Omar. Omar. 11,000 years. That is correct. 10 sword <laughs> points. Are you hitting Byron? Byron! <laughs> Byron is See, in the name, Grab man. the See? siren! <laughs> See? She needed those points. <laughs> <laughs> and Byron has an opportunity to get her these points with a 10 normal point culture question. <laughs> What is the first name of the titular doctor in Frankenstein? Ooh. What is the first name of the titular doctor in Frankenstein? I'm ashamed. Uh, you know Jack. Jack. Henry. No. Byron. Byron. Victor. Victor is correct. Oh, like you said that word you used before the title. I thought <laughs> you were talking about another character for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, it's Victor Frankenstein, but what's that weird word you used? <laughs> Was it tickler? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Henry Titular Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, with that in mind, how did you even arrive at Henry? I, because I looked it up, and instead of reading Victor Frankenstein, I'm reading the nickname, like Heinrich Henry von Frankenstein, mad scientist. <laughs> I love how you ignored the giant font at the top and went yes, to like the that font just says page. Victor. I, I skip over that and skip over the Wikipedia that says Victor Frankenstein. Who's Dr. Frankenstein's first name? Victor. You know, all of that. Because I thought he was talking about someone else. You are an embarrassment to this show, which is yeah, saying well, a lot. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to be winning by double everyone else. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. It's a, is, it, is it? Okay. Yes. It's not. It's not Oh, it's double everyone else combined. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. So, all right. Our next question, and second to last question, I might add, is a science question. Oh, that means you're going to survive, Byron. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a science question for 10 sword points. What is the hardest naturally occurring metal on Earth? Omar. Omar. Diamond. No. Wait, oh, it's it's material. He said material. He said metal. He Jack. said metal. Jack, what do you have? <laughs> Tungsten? Tungsten is correct. <laughs> you have one viable target. I thought he said material. I was uh, typing so fast. I, I got shield, no, I had shield points. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yep. He I'm did. sorry, I'm sorry. My Omar's problem. like, check my shield points, bro. <laughs> 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 all right our last one we like to end on a random category question this is one i am particularly fond of we are going to play the elimination game for 10 normal points byron this is a question in which google is not allowed Ooh. Um, and you got to show your hands yes so <laughs> it's like here. Now my face is fuzzy. You can see my hands. You can jazz see my hands. jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so the way this works is I have several categories, or in this case, two categories, and I will call you out in scoreboard order. So it'll be Jack, Omar, Byron, uh, and we will. You have to list things that fit in this category. So, for example, our first category is Johnny Depp movies. Jack. Edward Scissorhands. Omar. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. The first one. (laughs) (laughs) You should have taken the whole series out, but... (laughs) Oh, Lord, just by saying Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> 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 All right, Byron, Johnny Depp movies. <laughs> uh, Black Mass. Jack. Uh, Secret Window. <laughs> Omar. I was so scared. Byron. Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. <laughs> Omar. Pirates <laughs> <laughs> of the Caribbean 4. <laughs> uh, Donnie Brasco. <laughs> Omar. Uh, Charlie the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Pirate. Pirates of the Caribbean 5. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pirates are off the table. Keep going, Jack. <laughs> Jack yeah, off. I'm done. I'm done. It was oh. on purpose to leave all the oh. pirates of the Caribbean for a bar every time. <laughs> I was going to say um, 21 Jump Street. <laughs> Before we move on to this next category, I've got to take a breather. That was glorious. Well, I was like, as soon as Omar said it, I'm like, I almost ESPN'd Byron, and we were both doing the same thing. Anything other than pirates. Just let Omar say pirates five times in a row. <laughs> my, my favorite part is that, first off, Omar... <laughs> he called it Pirates of the Caribbean, the, the first, first one. one. <laughs> and then, then he kept instead of naming the subtitles, he just went two, three, yeah. and he got to four, and he's like, "I'm not even sure if there is a five <laughs> <laughs> I know he didn't say it, but that's exactly that, what he was. That's thinking. what I was thinking. I was like, like, like how many of those third. are there? <laughs> I'm just going to keep going until they say I'm wrong. (laughs) You could go a long way if the category was Vin Diesel movies and you started with Fast and Furious. I didn't know they were working on a six Pirates of the Caribbean. That's totally news to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. They're also working on a new Fast and the Furious. (laughs) Well, that's not news to me. (laughs) And a Jurassic Park Fast and Furious crossover. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not joking. <laughs> wow. Is I Chris Pratt in it? 
<laughs> so Chris Pratt and Vin Diesel race cars and kill kill raptors. <laughs> Ra- race cars <laughs> and raptors. Race cars like, with yeah. raptors. <laughs> The only thing stronger Chris Pratt than Pratt is riding the raptor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts, but we got to oh. keep going. So. Oh, man. That was hilarious. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Omar, this next category is Capitals of Nations. Go. Uh, Rabat from Morocco. Okay, Byron. Uh, Tel Aviv, Israel. Omar. Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for that one. Byron. <laughs> London, England. <laughs> Omar. Paris, France. Byron. Uh, Rome, uh, Italy. <laughs> Omar. Madrid, Spain? Is it Madrid or is it Barcelona? It's, it's Madrid. It's Madrid. Byron. Uh, Khartoum, Sudan. I... Sure. I would assume that's correct. <laughs> Omar. <laughs> Omar. <laughs> Are you out? Uh, no, oh, am I? Are you? <laughs> no, 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 I was going to say uh, uh, Mumbai for India. Ah. I think Mark. it's... Wait, well, let, me, let me verify that. because Mumbai is right. I'm, is I'm it? checking them up. Yeah. yeah okay. Jack, you're, you're officially fact-checking. Byron, go. <laughs> yeah. Moscow, Russia. All right, Omar. Sydney, Australia. <laughs> no, yeah. Sydney is not it's, correct. Uh, Australia is not it's, Sydney. It's Canberra. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that either. <laughs> I knew that very recently. <laughs> yeah, it's Canberra is the capital, not Sydney. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, yep. Sydney, Australia has killed someone again. <laughs> yeah. So, Look at that. Byron only lost ten points altogether. <laughs> that's actually, all things considered, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Given, given the other two were trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it also didn't help that like what there was like four offensive questions yeah. like, all together. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> Fair. But, <laughs> <laughs> Either way, this has been a blast, guys. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for joining us, Byron. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Bit. Yep. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, maybe we can have you on for a future season as a regular, but uh, mm-hmm. that's, that's talk for later. Uh-huh. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I've got no comment question for, for you guys this week. Uh, but I will be having some questions on the Facebook group so you guys can support the surviving combatants. That would be Jack Cornwall, Omar Morani, and Melissa DK, who is currently substituted by Mr. Byron Lafayette. <laughs> so if you see those questions, those are the people you can still support. All the rest of us are dead. <laughs> <laughs> and just so I can see a random cut during the close scene for Melissa, it's okay not to be embarrassed by her giants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, that being said, this has been season three, episode four of the Raw Quiz Show. It has been quite a long night. <laughs> what a very fun one I appreciate you being here please again like subscribe share and comment I you know this show needs to grow and you are the key to the success of this show not me not these losers you <laughs> so, losers <laughs> like, okay everybody speak, but Jack is a loser speak I guess. for yourself <laughs> 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 at any rate it's been great have a nice night day or whenever you're watching thanks <laughs>